Good morning, everyone. Today's the day I woke up in Tutukaka. And yeah, I'm uh, gonna go get my scuba cert or started today. Got up at 6.30, went to the bathroom, made myself a really terrible lunch. And now I'm on my way to the facility and hopefully they let me record everything. Unfortunately, before I can officially start, I'll have to fill out some final paperwork. Then, get fitted for a BCD wetsuit, fins, which I'll be using over the next few days. Here, Charlie will explain how to put the BCD on, then he explains what each part of the BCD does and what it's used for. The tank itself is in New Zealand, uses bar instead of PSI. And should start with at least 200 bar, otherwise you should probably get a different tank. Our safety stop should be at 70 bar, at 5 meters, which the computer will say how long we should stop for. We then had to practice putting the BCD, our secondary, and computers onto the tank three times. Lastly, we have to pass a 25 lap swim test followed by a 10 minute floating test if you don't pass either of these, you can't continue with the course. Later, we had to get the wetsuits on, which trap water and your body heat warms the water, warming the suit. Once those are on, we put on our weight belts, which will offset the buoyancy of the wetsuits. Once we reconnected all of our gear and get our fins on, we were ready to get in the water. Unfortunately, from this point on, I could no longer film, but we did a series of exercises that I'll list below, which will help us in specific situations which we may encounter on a dive in the ocean. The reason we do them in the pool first is because it's safe environment at shallow depths. So the course went well. This is so strange. So the course went well. Um, it, it was nice having Kevin underwater because he couldn't talk so much. And I think he's going to do great for the rest of the course. So Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day six. Sixteen. Day sixteen. <laughs> Second day of my scuba diving adventure. I don't know how much I'm going to be allowed to film today, but tomorrow I'll be able to film more. First, we get on the boat before the other divers to set up our gear beforehand. Then we step off and get a quick briefing about the buddy system and what's on the agenda and how we will be descending using the anchor and rope. After about an hour boat ride, we arrive at the Poor Knights Diving. What's up, people? Day 16. Third day of scuba diving and second dive today, I can bring a camera in the water, so it should be pretty awesome. Let's get to it. After waiting for Tris, we hop on our much smaller, much more private boat than yesterday, set up, and then get off and back to our briefing spot. Charlie teaches us how to use the compass, which we will be using to navigate on our first dive of the day. Once the briefing is done, off we go for another hour and a half. These are the skills we had to get checked off today. These are the last of the skills before we start our fun dive. 